Yeah, Shalawam. First and foremost, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Racha Kodesh, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. Alright? We had some brothers from GMS Trinidad Camp coming to do another lesson to the Holy Spirit. Power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai. Right? Hopefully they're defined. Okay. Being an example, right? Because basically we are out here to set an example so that other people could follow. Okay. Right? We are out here to lead. Right? To basically, hey, set, basically hey, show you basically how to walk and how to be, how to go about living. Right? We are out here basically to bring back order. That's right. You know, and that is what it is about. And basically, yeah, how Shai came, you know, and set that that that, that example on how to be gotcha. among brethren, among everything, mm -hmm. right? Hey, let me go, go, let me just jump into it. Um, book of John, thirteen, can, and it started with fourteen. This is John chapter thirteen. It started with thirteen, my All right, this is John chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. He said, "He called me Master and Lord." And he said, well, for so I am. Mm -hmm. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Mm -hmm. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done unto you. Yeah, you can. You know, and this is our Master, our Lord, right, our God, you know. This is how I came and basically set this example. Right, you know, and we as servants of Yahweh Shai, hey, we ought to basically live by his example. That's right. Right? Basically, hey, we ought to do the same for your brothers. You know, hey, you know, it's like, hey, don't be greedy. Don't be basically hey, in 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 what we did what I'm looking for just now, so hack here, has been me. I don't basically don't basically be sinning willfully. Can't, please, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, can't. Right? If you set an example, you set an order, right? You have to stand tall so that the person that's looking up to you will, will try to be like you or, tr or try to walk in your footsteps. Can't. Right? You can't be outdated and people basically not to eat pork, but behind closed doors, you're doing the same. Doing the same yeah. Right? You can't be outdated telling people not to commit adultery, but you know, hey, you're doing the same. Mm -hmm. Your destruction will be greater. Mm. Oh, you know? You don't know, you know the right and do the wrong shall you beat them with many stripes. Come. Every seven day, this is First Peter 2 and 12. It says, having your conversation. What the fuck, you know? I'm going to read from the scriptures. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 12. I read from 11. It says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify the most high in the day of visitation. Yeah, the same thing I say. They will talk about it bad, but the things that we're doing amongst each other, they will, hey, when the Lord returns, they will have to say these men is righteous men. And by we think what we're doing amongst each other, let me read the next one here. The book of John, chapter 13, verse 35, it says, I read from 34, it says, And a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye love one another. Mm -hmm. So by men seeing that, the, the, how the inner circle does operate, that alone could convince people and, 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 and convince the, the gainsayers and the naysayers to say, no, nah, boy, something different with them, boy. Mm. Something different with them. You understand? Know, and they will, they will conform, they will try to be apartheid. Mm. Because the is not an average group. Mm -hmm. She's not an average gang of so-called Negroes or so-called Latinos gathered together to see men with operating on a different 
like things that they do see on the Western Hemisphere. Because on this Western Hemisphere, it's just pure hate. And then they go see a group of so-called Negroes in function, and so they go see now, nah, boy, some of them are the, are the fine out. Mm -hmm. Are the fine out what's going on with them, and they come and ask a question, what, what, what part are they, what are they into? Now, people that ask that question, what, what are they about? into? It's, what what are you about? What is this about? Hmm. Because you see that difference compared to how the world has functioned. That's why the, hmm. they're the asking that and that's how we have to be because that is why you know, we could wake up people just by how we act. Yeah. You understand? Hey. Hey. hey, you being a man, a man of the Lord, you are the old time trying to be in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Right? You are the old time basically, hey. Be on a positive vibe, right? So that's why basically, hey, if you say blessed, you have to read it, right? When you in the, when you basically in the scripture daily, right? Hey, you most of us reveal things unto you, right? And while you in the in the scriptures daily, hey, you put off that old level, right? You basically become pure, yeah, right? You cleanse your own self, right? So basically, when others see you hey they're gonna basically look up to you they're gonna be like hey this man used to be this this yeah. type of way right they're gonna use the word used to used to right but basically when they're watching you over a period of time and they're seeing how you functioning hey they're gonna be like hey nah this man is a complete new person yep right the thing that he used to do he do them no more things yeah. i used to do you know because basically hey, we were all of the world Right, and then the most high called us in into this. Okay. Right, the most high basically take us out of that darkness and brought us into the light. Right? And now we as now we are in the light, hey, we are let our light shine forth. What the scripture go is in a John. Hey, your light shine um shine forth before men. Like Matthew five. You can't, you know. Hey, so you being a light day, hey. You you basically being a great example. Because the Aosha is our example and basically we following after him. You know, we trying to be as he is. But basically, yeah, we trying to just basically be, be pure. Hmm. You know, so basically yeah, you yourself, basically, yeah, you had to set an example. Right? You can't be basically out there preaching, saying one thing, and then you're doing the total opposite to it. Now you yourself will be a castaway. Yeah, well, you you just fool in your you just fool in yourself at the end of the day. That's why humility is 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 a serious serious thing. Uh, to be humble. Uh. Mm -hmm. See humbleness by that way. Humbleness does carry a long way, you know, Dan. That is carry a long way you know, to be humble. <coughs> you understand? Know, because you might you might you might. Get some sense of pride and pride is what is get kicked out. Keep pride. Pride is what like the enemy. Huh. To be proud. You see when you, anytime you have any kind of pride in you, any level level in your top of your pray. Ask the Lord to take that away from me. Come. Ask the heavenly fire, say Lord, take that away because I'm gonna tell you something. All that we hear is you know, we we, we, we will we will we will say something. That we we win we we win always upkeep. You understand? We will break we will break a law. Hmm. We will go off. We will transgress. It's obvious, right? You repent of that and you keep you keep going by you, 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 you keep going by you, you repent, you try it, say hey, I don't do that, I don't do it now again. And you hmm. keep going, you keep going. You understand? You remain what you remain humble because what will make you not repent of that, that pride by the scripture said that um, a righteous man falleth seven times. Falleth seven times and rise it up again. Seven just means accomplishment. Accomplishment, yeah, you will, you will fall. You, 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 you know, you Child will fall. Will, but almost better to commit the, same, to commit sin the same, same sin and uh, over and over and over. And, <coughs> and just be, and just, because then you will just be playing, trying to play the Lord for a fool and being a hypocrite. Okay. The Lord and the Lord is not mocked. The Lord is not mocked. You can't mock the Heavenly Father. You understand? So you had to, hey, you had to, you had to just be humble and repent and keep it, keep it moving and don't do what you did in the past. Don't do it. Lock yeah. it off. Just keep and keep going. You understand? 
Because if you if you're, if you're constantly doing the, the wickedness, the Heavenly Father will expose you for being a hypocrite. Hmm. That what you go do. You say this brother is a hypocrite. And you don't want to be a hypocrite. Hmm. Psychoness. Yeah. This is um Jeremiah chapter 17. <clears throat> so like, yeah. And verse 13 he said, O oh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the hope of Israel. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is our hope, as your brothers and them were speaking about earlier. People will see us and see by how they're moving so. Because we call upon the true God of Israel. Mm -hmm. And that is the love of the Heavenly Father upon us. As the scripture says in Isaiah 55, verse 11, one of my favorite precepts. You understand? The most I say he words. All the words gonna be established, and that's the reason why we come back and dwell in unity through the spirit. Right? It says all that forsake thee shall be ashamed. But there's no talking about don't be puffed up. Be going to be puffed up. Or you be um we just no say that um the, the words slip my mind. Yeah, if, if you be prideful. You know, you're really, you're really going to be ashamed. Yep. You're going to be ashamed. 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 Because the scripture said in Proverbs chapter 16, pride goes before destruction. Pride goes before destruction, I show you. You understand? So when we come before the Lord, we're supposed to humble ourselves, as the brother said. As the start of the scripture in John, John 13, 12. Going on down, we go on to say, The... Shall so like here, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Okay. Because it's only by the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai we can dwell in unity. That's right. Because if it wasn't the spirit of the Lord, look at two thirds, look at these niggas on the street. They don't dwell in unity. It's always a fuss, a fight, a quarrel. Yeah. But because we are the spirit of the Lord. We all combine through the spirit that the most I have as Shemir Shai Lord cleanse us and keep in us. Go on to say, heal me because we we was filthy as hell. And that's what the brother said. You know, hey, Selaki Aba Shemir Shai mean going back there and do that so I wouldn't be a hypocrite. Mm. Because in that day you're gonna be shamed. You see, have just said it in Daniel chapter 12. Many shall rise. To everlasting shame and contempt. Do you understand? Going to say, O oh Lord, and I shall be healed, save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. And when the Lord called him, we just had a humble myself as the brother rightfully said earlier on. Just humble myself, that is it. You don't know what you said. Yeah, yeah come. The book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse 12. It says the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his Maker. So that is what I'm saying. That is how pride does start. For pride is, verse 13 says, for pride is the beginning of sin. Right? Because any sinner, from the time you sin, it's pride you have in your last. That is what you have. And you, 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 you're, going off. you're going off because why? You ain't want to humble yourself under the words of the Heavenly Father. You know, son? So that's why I say you have to be humble. Humility is the is the key, and humility will make you always get back up and do the things pleasing to the Lord. And by doing that, you could you could convince the gay, the gainsayers and the naysayers. They go look at you and say, "Some with this man, something with he, you understand? Something with them, something with our group. You got our group what? That group humble." They deal with each other in a different kind of way. They show love, compassion, wisdom. you know, wisdom. They exhibit understanding. They, they greet each other with a hug. Shalom, brother. They say peace to each other. All you know, that different settings. Conversation different. Conversations different. They go sit down and talk about brushing an next man, woman. Gain rich and only study how to make billions and try to expand the bank account to the biggest so they could. But that's what the world let be talking about. We just talk about that. We talk about tribulation, we talk about basically going for work so that we can enter into the enter into the kingdom to come. Mm -hmm. We talk about being pure. You know, 
know what for this way. Hey, hey, that crazy scene, you know. What's going on with you these days? You're good. Mm -hmm. You're reading, you're studying. Your situation, how you're fighting your battle. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, that's how the conversation is be, how it's supposed to be, you know. Um. Hey, so then we're not to be in the case. Hmm. That's something, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. This is Matthew chapter 20. Mm. I'll start from verse 22. But Yahweh Shai answered and said, Ye know not what you ask. Ye are able to drink of the cup. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of? And to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. They say unto him, we are able, you know, but before I read the next verse, if I may say, there is something people has sincerely try to seek, you know. Let's try to seek righteousness, you know. but here what is going on. The Hawashai made up a statement, and the, the scripture goes on to say, after that moment, many of his disciples walk not with him again. You see, when you grasp on to the sacrifices it had to make to be baptized with. To, to follow after righteousness, it have a process of elimination it had to do. Because most people want to see her doing these things. They see her moving to amongst each other. They see us doing these things. They don't see any struggles that we, we they don't see any sacrifices we make. Her. They don't see any things we pass aside in our own life to follow after this righteousness, which is so so far greater. So now when they actually make that attempt. They realize now that these men and them actually doing this boy and they do the same thing with the child, they do the they try to kill him. Hmm. Because they themselves not able to bear a baptism. It is many sides to the spectrum. Hmm. Many sides to the spectrum. Hmm. Because you have a shy, you could go on to say, I read verse 23. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup. And be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with because of the affliction. All Israel had to go through the affliction when he elect to be delivered out of it. It goes on to say, Baptize, I'll start back from 23. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of, of the cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand or on my left hand is not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Because watch, the command actually, I will show you. Man, say she want let she sunset, let she sunset on the right hand. Because Yahushai, Yahushai is the one making intercession for the elect, hmm. and the father, the father is the one who does say, "All right, I'll pardon this one, and I'll pardon that one." But if you have a shy go on your behalf, most likely as you're going and receive pardon. If you have a man like you have a shy on your behalf, daddy, daddy, that is so many, that, that is not some shit. You know? We are your have a shy on we behalf. You know? hmm. Them people and them don't have nobody like you have a shy. And them are Satan coming and carrying accusation against your Heavenly Father against them every day. You know? yeah. And they know that. You know? Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm going ahead and say that. <laughs> This is um First Timothy chapter four and verse fifteen. It says, "Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all." Because these things that we meditating on in the scriptures, as you brother said, is there's a wide spectrum, you know. Because this what we doing here is profitable unto all. Because even two tears does pass in admiration and be like, the man and them really going now, boy. The man and them taking no break, boy. The man and them always coming and preaching, boy. Like the other night when we was preaching, this Elamite come up to me and he was talking, and one of the Jake who was hustling on the side of the road was saying, You see them men and them? Do play with them men and them, or no? Do play with them men and them? Because he know what we deal with. And he know who we dealing with. He go on to say, he said, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Hmm. 
you know so we would know that some of them might be passing you understand but the taking heat to that word you know it might just be part of the one too who knows yeah. who knows Taking heat and we're going to take an example here. Like, yeah. One, four, four. Yeah. Mm. I will pray. Mm. I can't. I'm going to be. I'm trying to be upright. Yep, yep, yep. You know, next great example is the apostles and, and the elders. Mm. You know? Because these men are worthy to basically give double honors to. Right? You see, they, basically, you see, they are only being diligent. Right? And you see them basically how they basically hey, what are they doing? They're feeding the sheep. Uh -huh. Right? They're basically being intelligent how they feed in the most high sheep. That's right. Good, that's right. You know, and that's how we ought to be. That's right. You yeah. know, to so basically hey, study to show yourself approved. You know, hey, to be basically diligent in the scriptures. Right? That's what we all the scriptures of the this is the book of um, first Peter two. And um it's out of twenty. Right, it reads, for what glory is it if when he buffet, if when he be buffet for your faults, he shall take his patiently. But, but if when he do well and suffer for it, he take it patiently. This is acceptable with power with Yahweh. For even here unto where he called, because Amashia also suffered for us leaving us an example that he should follow his steps you know and that is a great example right there because mm. basically when he wish i was on the earth he came right and he suffered for us mm. righteously you know and we out there basically being righteous hey we just suffered like um so likewise also mm. like the book um it's first peter four and one or second peter four and one Arm yourself likewise with the same mindset. You know, just roughly quoting, you know. Yeah. Because basically definitely. we can suffer for righteousness. And we can suffer for the right things that we're doing. Mm. And that's why we take Yahweh as, 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 as that great example. You know? So even self we be put to death. Hey, we know that basically we, when we was when we had the time on the earth, or basically when we was alive, you know that when whenever that time reach, however it go. You know, basically, we could actually tell in your mind, basically, I try to do my best. I give food my all, mm -hmm. you know, to serve the Most High, mm -hmm. to be an example to the people on how to live and how to go about to be. Right? Anybody have anything? Yeah. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, right? Matthew chapter 5 and verse 11 and 12. And here I see. I'll start from 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven verse 11 blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which will be for you yeah, how shall I say rejoice and be exceedingly glad? Okay. And that is something that I'm talking to myself and all the Akyam. You see, when a persecution comes and you're being persecuted for righteousness, yeah, let that start to resonate as, 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 as sweetness within you. Mm -hmm. Let that type of persecution start to be hey, gl glad unto you. Because you know what? You know you're on the correct path and great is the reward in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. If I could just add to what you're saying, it already started already. Huh? Because when we've been all the preaching, they've been saying, all oh, these mad men, all oh, these this. The family being coming again to the brothers, with sisters, with mothers, you know? But that is a beautiful thing. This is first Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 18. It says, Wherefore comfort one another with these words. As your brother now say, rejoice. Because we're on the right path. Mm. And this is what comforting to the soul. To know why we ain't going through this for nothing. Mm -hmm. According to Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. You understand? 
I will read that precept real quick, Baba Kosha, because this what we're going through is all for the greater glory, right? This is Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For your how about Shem Yahushua is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. So, what we're doing here, we're showing a the power give you the opportunity, you know, to love his name, to love his work. And you hear what the scriptures say? The Lord not unrighteous, don't forget that. So, when we're being persecuted for the Mosai, Yahweh, Shem Yahushua, name, it's to feel joyous because we're going to receive a greater gift. Mm -hmm. Going to say, which you have showed toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. And that's a beautiful thing, boy, mm -hmm. to be our own angels, boy, to be our own saints, boy. Though we might be in this earthly form right now, this prison houses, mm -hmm. it's a blessing to be our own brethren. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. Romans chapter 16 and verse Romans 16 and 19 It says for your obedience is come abroad unto all men See? See that? Hmm. The obedience come it, it, it was echoing The way how men was being back then It was echoing everybody was hearing about the men is obedient to the Lord that that who we should you know aspire to be. See? I am glad therefore on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. See? Yeah, what be wise unto that which is good, which is which is what? The truth. That's right. All right? The laws that the Heavenly Father be wise unto that and the wickedness be simple unto that, be a fool to wickedness. You want to know wickedness. You want to know what righteousness. But what is it? Your obedience is come abroad unto all men. What is it even the lesson at? To set an example. To set an example. <laughs> God. See? So. That right there, how obedient you be, and could set an example to everybody else. Because you can set an example to the world. This is how righteousness is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is this is what a true. This is how a man should really walk on the face of the earth, like mm -hmm. this. This way is how a man, how men should walk. That's what we doing right now. Because men walking like beasts right now. Mm -hmm. Men walking like beasts and eating pork. That is one on walk say you just You say because all you tell me not to eat pork, I go and eat more pork. <laughs> I say we fuck <laughs> 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 uh, son? Oh, God. <laughs> that what the man tell me why right? You say because all you say not to eat pork, I go and eat more. I say the father will fucking kill ya. Yeah. You say you say the father <laughs> The father will kill me for that. I say, yeah, you will fucking kill you for that. <laughs> because you're being wicked. You see that you're walking like a beast. You know, no, no morals, no, no standard now, but you just do as thou wilt. You know that mentality? And, and that will be coming out to reprove, reprove the world. Uh, uh, um, man, type of piece of that say that to me. Of sin, and you shall reprove the world of sin. Because that's not let's see if I find that. Hmm. If I could just add one quick precept first um Proverbs chapter one verse twenty six. You man say you wanna eat more pork, right? Mm -hmm. What do you most I say? I will laugh, I will mock when the calamities come. Huh? Mm -hmm. So just remember we tell this brother through his spirit. The brother going to see a reward. Tell both of you that. Can good brothers. Yeah, well. Y'all gonna laugh and y'all y'all because the Lord say he gonna laugh. And if the Lord laughing, the ones that stand to flee for his name are going to enjoy that laugh too. Because we gave the warning. Yeah. 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 This is the book of Proverbs 15 and verse 10. Correction is grievous unto him that to save the way, and he that hates reproof shall, shall die. die. That's mm. right. 
It is expedient for you that I go away, for if I go not away, the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which is these words in the book, which is ultimately the Spirit I have about Shami or Shai, coming to comfort our spirits in, in Babylon through the manifold temptations and the heaviness. Hmm. Alright, it says, The Comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you, or it. Alright? Because if you go into that word him, it, go, it means it as well. It says, and when he come, and when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. Which is these words. It says of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go and to my father, and he see me no more. Of judgment, because the prince of this world is judged. But what is going to reprove the world of? It's going to reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Because that will be showing the world what the, we show in the world the sinning, and we show in the world how this, how a righteous man is supposed to be on the face of the earth. You understand? Through these words, we show in the world that. You understand? Because people walking like basemen on the earth, doing as they want, being how they want. And that is not how to be on the earth. We we is the example. We is that beginning with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, the apostles, all of them. We is that way to righteousness. The apostle Paul say, Be followers of me, even as I am follower of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Meaning, he took up that mantle upon himself. He say, I had I had the way. That was the apostle Paul say, I had the truth. The hundred percent truth. He went tell you that just so he telling you that hey, basically hey, I had the hundred percent truth. You want to reach the father, follow me. You want to reach the father, follow me. Because I follow in the father. And that is what we tell any people. We lead in the example. Follow us. <laughs> you understand the scripture say unto those who are troubled, rest with us. Come and come in the truth, rest with me. We had the way, we had the truth to lead you to the heavenly father, to the correct path. Hmm. So that they wouldn't be destroyed in the days to come because destruction coming okay. and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. The scriptures tell you that. Okay. If, I may, if I may say, okay. sure. when the apostle Paul make that statement, when people say, we, when we say, when we tell people by standards that we have the 100% truth, and if you want to know it, you have to come to us, let us presume it to be pride. Mm -hmm. And it are many people probably read that scripture and presume it to be pride too. In them days when Paul made this statement, they probably say this man prideful. Mm -hmm. But that is not pride. Huh? That is humility and being bold at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because knowing the most high is a man will come down on here with great wrath if you pervert the word. Then to turn wrong and see. Why follow me boy? I will lead you to the most high. The most high say woe be unto the shepherd that leave the sheep astray. So knowing these things, you have to you have to be convinced that you're doing the correct thing. You have to know you're doing the correct thing to make a statement like that. Correct. You know? That's when the third in and and bold means to be confident. Mm -hmm. So he was confident in what he was saying. You understand? But I tell that precept, I can't remember the precept right now with this big evil forward they know not of. If anybody can remember it. In the second Peter two. Speaking of evil of the um dignities, angels which um greater in strength. Did I say in second Peter chapter two? We sort of read in there. Lower down to team four, team somebody. To add up because you see, like all the brothers say, you know that the they go and speak evil about it. You understand? Because. They don't understand what it is going on. And thinking that these people is normal people. Um, but this is not normal people. This is a gift from God given unto these individual, this remnant. And this is a gift that all are born. 
they give that other cast and down low. Mm-hmm. That's why Wisdom of Solomon going to come into play chapter 5 very soon. Can. Very soon. So, like, can you get something there? With hell he filled them with not with the knowledge of understanding and showed them good and evil. He set his eyes upon their hearts that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever, that they may declare his works with understanding. And that's what we're doing, we're declaring the most high works with understanding right now. Right? And the elect shall praise it for the holy name. Um, you know? We don't basically go out boasting that we are an elect. You know what basically is? Hey, we say if we are of the elect, you know? You still have to have some confidence right there. Hmm. You know, but basically, you still at the set time, you had to show forth your works. Right? That's right. Because basically how a work man is get paid by work. Mm-hmm. If it ain't work, how you expect to be paid? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? That's so the thing go. Mm-hmm. Anybody have anything else? Nah. No. Something I'm on? No, I you know, so, hey, we we been out here, you know, to set that example on basically hey, to set that great example. As how I shall came and he said the example was. You know, we come to set the example for others, mm-hmm. right? You know, and with that, we like to keep our praise, our glory, our honor. To the Hawa, Ba'ashem, Ha'ushai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kodash. Number one, to the Apostle and the elders of great millstone that is worthy, that is worthy to rule well. That's right. Right? Let's sure. sanitation to be a careful pushing this word to the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth, you know? What love about to this place? Shalom. You know? What love about? Shalom. 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 Shalom.